everyone, it's Tanya. I'm coming back to show you my design team project for Antique Papery. I have some other things to show you later on in the video, so I'm trying to hurry up so it won't be too long. Um, I used a, um, a polyester um, ribbon to close it, and it's grungy. It has blues and browns in it. And this was supposed to be like a build notes, um, you know, uh, journal. So it is really grungy. Um, it's called Bramble Leaves and um here's the cover um don't you look at all those the watermarks and the ink spots and it's just really pretty here's the side with the tassels um the trees the acorn the leaves and it has five signatures um, i tried to make it look as organic as possible um it has you know postcards and vintage envelopes in here um i don't know if i told you that i used her lush um, line the lush paper look this is pretty this is printed out on vellum so this is a um, pressed flower that um, our plant that a lady named Joby sent me um, so I wanted to include that and she also sent this gorgeous gorgeous handmade paper and um, I made it into a tag and then you have a tree charm and then this one is another one and it's got a leaf charm and um, then on this side, we have a pocket, and I will put something in there. And then we have um, another vintage postcard. So I tried to stick with the colors of like greens and browns. Um, I'll do that later. Greens and browns, um, just to make it look, you know, cohesive. So we have a lot of blank pages, and then we have some other type of pages in here and I did some sewing on the pages this time um, but you guys know how I do it I always try to leave a lot of um, blank pages for you to write on and then we have a Edith Holden page which is and this is a vintage California trip and um, tour guide thing and I just liked um, the way it looked and I thought it matched and you have a pocket right here as well. And I believe I have something in there. Um, let me check it. Yeah, I do. It's a vintage, uh, a vintage, um, what is that? Book page. <laughs> I couldn't think for a minute. Okay, so then you turn it over this way and you have a flip and that pretty um, washi right there. And here is another tag and this one is my eagle dyeing paper and this is um, a piece of the handmade paper so I just put them together I thought they looked really nice together and then you have an uh, what's that acorn and some Edith Holden pages that I just made into a um, pocket um, and another vintage postcard and this is a pocket right here and then we have blank pages we have some vellum and some more book pages. And another, the other piece of the vellum. And another pocket right here. And then we have another um, pocket, side pocket. And then we have a pocket right here. And just some more pages guys these are all blank pages um, for you to write and journal and put your memories in and this is a pocket on this side and then is a tuck right here and you flip it over and then it is just a flip out and this is a side right here and then we have this gorgeous flip down like that. Um, and then we just have some more blank pages, blank pages, and pages. And we have a pocket and we have a flip out. And this is a vintage book page that I just incorporated um, in there. 
and then more blank pages. Uh, blank pages, guys. And then we have another little side pocket with another vintage postcard in there. I love the brown and the rock, and I thought it looked really well with that. And then we have, this is a very old um, book page. I don't know how old it is, but I thought it went well. And then um, it flips out, of course. And then this is an old greeting card. I mean, it's blank in the inside. It doesn't have anything in there. And then we have just an envelope in a pocket. And this is the back page. And that is that. So it is listed in my Etsy as Bramble Leaves. If okay, guys, so I already started to unwind the ribbon. It is the polyester ribbon. Um, and um, this one cover is hand painted as well um, and distressed. Um, it's this really, really pretty green color. Um, and it's called Primrose. It has four signatures. And this is the side. It comes with uh, these tags. Um, they are backed with um, my porch prints. I used her um, wildfire botanical and garden collage kit. I will link it below. And these are all also Edith Holden pages. And um, this is Edith Holden, of course. And then you open it like this. Pop of color. And then you have a tag and then they're just blank on the back and then um, when you open it up it looks like this so um, this is my porch print and then I also used a my little prairie from junk with stuff I will definitely link everything below so you guys can um, go and check them out for yourself because um, they're really pretty pages this is a vintage postcard um, and then we have um, just vintage pages, botanical pages, and a vintage envelope. And this is the pretty uh, page from Junk With Stuff. And so what I was thinking, like, so the little girl would go into the um, backyard and this would, all this lusciousness would be in the backyard with all the flowers and things like that. So that's why I put that right there. And um, so it comes out like this. And I'm trying to be in frame. It comes out like this. And then it has a, a house charm, like a birdhouse charm. And this is a little secret pocket with a peekaboo fairy. And then that is the back. And then we have a whole bunch of blank pages, just tea dyed pages right here. And then um, we have another Edith Holden page and another. Um, beautiful print from my porch prints and then it has a butterfly and then on this one we have another little um, journaling card this one actually has a pocket in there and then this is the hummingbird and it goes in here like this um, yeah okay and then this is Edith Holden and it opens up like this and then it flips down and then you just have this really really pretty scenery and this is a vintage postcard and then we have a lot more coffee dyed and tea dyed pages and then we have this pretty flip out page with pressed flowers in there and then we have this pocket there's a pocket right here and you can flip this around like this and you can put something in there and then there's another one right up here it's a collage tag and then we have some more pullouts like this and I don't know if you can see that I'm using those real pretty um, pages from my porch prints and we have another tag and it has a tree on there and Edith Holden and then we have another flip out and another little fairy 
And then we have another bead of Holden and a side tuck, more blank pages. And then we have a belly band that I collaged. And um, this is part of an old 1800 newspaper, but I love this image. So um, that's why I'm going really slow. So be really, really careful because it's really brittle. See a piece of it already fell off. So be careful guys. Um, I don't want you to get it and be like, oh man, it broke. So um, another vintage postcard. And we have a flip, really, really pretty. And this is from a plant that a lady sent me. Her name is Joby. She sent me the most amazing Happy Meal when I first started. So I'm just using some of the stuff now. But I mean, guys, it's gorgeous. And um, so this has blank pages in the middle. And then we have another one. And we have some vintage greeting cards. And the reason why I put them in there um, is because... Um, they were pretty <laughs> and I thought they went well with the botanical theme and gardening theme or um, yeah fairy theme whatever theme you want to use it for and here is another little um, collage tag and we have a leaf on this one and this one is beautiful Edith Holden page and it flips up like this this is actually a pocket and I put another um, card in there and then this I'm not gonna turn it around like this is a um, envelope pocket and it flips down like that and then we have beautiful beautiful look at that look at that pretty beautiful beautiful coffee dyed papers or tea dyed I did both so I um that's why I keep saying coffee and tea dyed because I did both and this is fun um it's a little flip and we have primrose vintage card and um then we have this really pretty vintage blue envelope um I love I love the discoloration so that's why I put it in there and I thought it went really well and of course we have the last page and we have this gorgeous piece of vintage wallpaper and um, then we have a very very old vintage letter and it's tight um, it looks like a meeting um, a meeting council meeting a uh, letter and um but i thought it would be since it's this color brown i thought it would be really cool to use in you know like when you do your journaling and you want to collage or whatever and then we have the last page which is the rest of that beautiful prairie um paper and we have vintage envelope and this is part of the california um brochure and that is it guys so it will be listed in my etsy